kiss on play. James was the fastest red engine on Sodor. He loved going fast. <laughs> Sometimes James goes way too fast. Oh, James! Hello, Emily. Hello, James. Mind your speed, James, and stop showing off. He's right, James. Stopping sharply like that is bad for your brakes. Don't forget that time your wooden brakes caught on fire, James. Yeah, I remember all that. But I got rid of my wooden brake blocks and... I was painted red. So good things did come out of it? And I don't have brake problems anymore. You might have problems if you carry on like that. I have to brake sharply like this, Emily. I'm the fastest red engine on Sodor. Fastest red engine on Sodor, are you? Huh, what about Rosie? Rosie's not fast, and she's not red. She's more of a lavender, pinkish purple. Magenta, maybe. She's red now. I just saw her today. Rosie's red? You mean red red? You mean James red? You mean splendid red? You're not teasing me, are you? Thomas? 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 Why do I need to put trucks? I just splendid for trucks. Too splendid? That's what you think? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well then why don't you see how fast you can go with us? You trucks are lucky to be pulled by me. Well, James wasn't having a very good day. Then he saw Rosie. Rosie, you really are red. Yes, I've been repainted. What do you think? I'm not telling you what I think. I think you're trying to look like me. No, I'm not. Not so red now, are you, Squeaky Wheels? Squeaky Wheels? Why do they call you Squeaky Wheels? No reason, just ignore them. Rosie, where are you going? I'm taking my trucks to Crovin State. I want to Crovin State too. Would you like to have a race to see who's the fastest red engine on all of Sodor? Okay, that sounds like fun. One, two, three, go! James, red signal, stop! <sighs> oh, bother. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, Henry. Oh, James. There's clearly something wrong with your brakes, James. You shouldn't be racing. You should go and get your brakes checked. Nope. You're just worried that I'm going to be the fastest red engine on Sodor. I don't care about that. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yep. <sighs> James, you clearly need to go to the Steamworks and get your brakes looked at. I'll deliver your trucks. You head off to the Steamworks. <sighs> Fine. But at the next signal light, James stopped with no problem at all. As James pulled into the Steamworks, his brakes didn't make any noise whatsoever. Huh, it wasn't my brakes. It must have been the troublesome trucks pushing me. So James just left without getting his brakes checked. 
Hmm. Kevin! Yeah, boss? Are you leaking brake fluid? Not me, boss. I get checked regularly. Then what's that? Ah, it is me! Ah, it is me! Oh, oh, oh! Wow, that was crazy. James was leaking brake fluid. But he didn't know it. Now, without enough brake fluid, his brakes wouldn't work very well at all. <laughs> James wasn't being very careful at all, and when he got to Gordon's Hill, he found that he couldn't stop at all. James, are you okay? I think so. How's my paint look? I'm in real trouble now. You can say that again, James. I told you many times about rushing about and showing off, and now you've ruined the shed. But sir, James has been having problems with his brakes all day. He even went to the steamworks to get them checked. Um, You did get them checked, didn't you, James? I did go, but... The problem didn't persist, so I didn't stop to get fixed. Honestly, James, this all could have been avoided. Why were you rushing about anyways? Um, Rosie and I were racing to see who the fastest red engine on Sodor is. Oh, you want to know who the fastest red engine is? Well, we'll soon solve that problem. Well, I sure am glad Tidmouth Sheds finally got fixed. Yes, and another thing. At least now we know that I'm the fastest red engine on all of Sodor. Well, how do we know that? Because Sir Topham Hatt made sure that I was the only red engine on the island of Sodor. All right, James, what do you think of your new paint job? I don't feel splendid at all. Well, I'm glad we got all that sorted out, but I can't help but think that we're forgetting something. Um, is anyone going to get me back on track? Well, at least it's not raining. Old Thomas and Old Rosie. But why do they have a lot of unpainted spots? These are called Thomas and Friends Wood. They are the new replacement for the Thomas and Friends Wooden Railway. So they're gonna stop making the trains that we have and they're gonna start making these instead. Their age is two plus. I think that these are geared towards a younger crowd. But meet the story starter. Every child's imagination has stories to tell. And this cheeky steam engine is the perfect helper. Children create the stories. Thomas just delivers inspiration. Meet the firecracker, Rosie's the free spirit tomboy who's happy spending time with girls and boys. She's not afraid to voice her opinion and her friends love her honesty. So Rosie's here in her package. You know what, let's get on our old Thomas and Rosie and see what they are by comparison. The wheels look the same, the magnets look the same. I think old Thomas is a little bit longer. Oh yeah, Rosie, old Rosie is definitely longer. This is actually a learning curve Rosie, I think. It's not even a Fisher Price Rosie. Let's break out Rosie. Well, this is Rosie and she's wearing her new colors. So that's one thing, that's good. So just looking at lining up the wheels side by side, it's clear to see that old Rosie is much bigger. The backs are kind of even there. And then old Rosie is actually a lot longer. They're pretty much the same height wise. I don't like these painted on bumps and, and uh, domes. That's for sure. You know, Rosie, uh, she's got the three domes. Boiler and these two are her sandboxes. Oh, does she have two sandboxes? Mm -hmm. Like Porter? Yes. Okay. 
Uh, I think the face is better, but it's it's smaller. It's, you know, the new one is smaller than the old one. And, Ugh. ow! The mega on the new wood is a little bit larger. One thing is for certain is that the colors on this is absolutely beautiful. I love her new library. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about all the wood. Focus on this really close. You'll notice that these are actually heat transfer stickers. They're not even paint. I'm getting out there, so. Oh, he's some more shinier. He's shinier? Uh huh, on, on his stickers. The face is different. Is it? It's, they used a Ryan face for Thomas. Are you, I think that's Thomas. The face is smaller. You know what? Let's find a Ryan. Well, the eyebrows and the nose, I think, are a bit different. And the face, but. Oh, hey, <laughs> Ryan. Get out of here. <laughs> the face is definitely smaller than the new wood, and uh, the magnet is flatter. Lined up wheel to wheel once again. The old wooden railway is a little bit longer and they're about the same height. Once again, the dome is painted on as opposed to actually being fixated. Yeah, I don't like how the face, the faces are narrower too. They don't have the same depth and they are smaller overall. So I guess there is less plastic, but in my opinion, there's less wood as well. Definitely looks more wooden. I mean, it's unfinished. Rosie. Do you notice anything else about this, Thomas? My flat dome. Yeah, your flat dome, you notice that. I heard this, that if you look at them from behind, you know, if it wasn't for the wheels, who, who's who at this point? You know, looking overall at the shape of these and everything, I think for Rosie and Thomas, they actually just used the same piece of wood. I guess Thomas has, has uh, this little piece on his wheel well right here, and Rosie doesn't, but besides that, they're essentially the same piece. Like, even the front heat transfer decal, I guess, is the same. So, get in the comment section. Tell us what you think. I'm, I'm going to reserve judgment on what uh, what I think of these, but you know they do have their charms. But uh, we want to hear from you. We want to hear what's the first thing you notice about these. Please remember, this is a family channel, and we know that they haven't uh, received the warmest welcome. Yes, I am. Uh, at least the is broken again, so I can fit in. Uh -huh.